open the hood. The handle is under the dash. Release the safety catch. It's right here. The hood prop rod is actually on the bottom of the hood. And then it goes here, side of the fender. Remove the six push clips on the top of the bumper and grill. You can use a plastic prying tool. You can get this from 1aauto.com if you don't have one, or a flat bladed screwdriver. It'll work the prying tool under each side of the clip. Work it up. Slide it underneath. Basically just have to get it to unlock. That's okay if the center part comes out, you can push it back together. Take the prying tool, pry out this part. Gotta push this back together so it doesn't get lost. And remove the last clip. To remove the grill, fold it forward just slightly. You don't want to break it, just very gently fold it forward. There's a tab here and a tab here. There's two on each side. I'm actually going to squeeze them in, push them out. whole grill will pull right out of the bumper. Here's our old grill from our vehicle. This is our new one from 1aauto.com. As you can see, they are identical. It does not come with the emblem, but I will show you how to swap that emblem over. You can see that this one is uh, faded from the sun. It's got some pitting in the chrome. The new one from 1aauto.com is nice and shiny with the metallic -y black plastic. It's got nice chrome around it. So this will really set off the front of your car and make it look nice. So I'm going to take this out of the way to swap this emblem over. It's got some push tabs in here and some locking tabs in the plastic. I'm just going to use a flat bladed screwdriver and very carefully pry it out. Uh, actually, since this is your old grill, uh, you can probably break these tabs off, the black tabs, and pull the grill emblem out. I'm going to take a flat bladed screwdriver. I want to keep these tabs intact because those are part of the emblem. But these locking tabs in the grill, I will break these off so that the emblem can come out of the old grill. I'll either break them off or bend them over as best I can. Push that one out. Bend this one up. So I've removed our old emblem that's still usable from our grill. If you want to replace or reinstall your old emblem into your new grill, this little tab will line up with the bottom opening here. Your push tabs will go through here and lock, and this will be in the middle to support it. You'll just push it in, push it down to lock it. However, if you want to replace this, we do sell brand new ones from 1aauto.com. Install the new grill, line up these snap in clips or pins on the back. They're going to go into these holes here on the bumper. With the new grill clipped into the bumper, now it's time to reinstall the push clips on the top. So these clips, these type of push clips are used in most cars and they just push in like this. And this one's all busted and broken. If you've got busted and broken ones, you can get new ones from 1aauto.com. You'll have to remove this one. And with your new push clips, they may look a little bit different, but they operate in the same exact manner. They'll go into the hole and push it 
it will lock and snap in and hold things nice and tight. Reinstall the six push clips on the top of the grill and bumper. Line up the holes, push the clips in. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.